My scent of the day is the discontinued or soon to be discontinued Tonka Imperial by Gerla. If you want to uh, know more about this fragrance, please continue watching. Hello and welcome back to my channel or welcome if this is your first time tuning in. My name is Orlando and in today's video I am talking about Tonka Imperial by Gerla. So I'm just going to start by um, showing you the uh, bottle presentation. So this is how it comes. The My cup has been personalized so you can have these personalized, the cup uh, only. So you can have a different thread and also the the top of the cup you can have a different kind of plate there um so the back of the bottle you've got the b there and at the bottom you've got the uh, batch code uh, etched in there so this is a 2010 release uh, is a eau de parfum concentration and the perfumer behind it is terry wasser and i will also show you the box presentation so it comes in this box is a white box with the name of the fragrance there and the house also you have the Gerla logo at the top and at the bottom you have a sticker with the name of the fragrance the concentration and the ingredients as well and the opens like that and the um, bottle just sits in there uh, this is a, a 100 ml bottle. I think they come in 100 ml and 200. Um, but yeah, they are um, uh, discontinuing this fragrance. You can still find it in some uh, Guerlain boutiques or in the Guerlain website online. At least uh, I got mine this week. I live in the UK. Uh, and they still have it in the Guerlain boutique in the UK. So if if you want to get this fragrance this is the time to get it because it is uh, officially getting discontinued um, at least that's what some um, sales associates have told me that it's getting discontinued um, so I think it's official um, so let's just uh, do a spray here so you can see how the sprayer is so it's kind of a very whew, very wide uh, spray. I quite like the spray on these ones. Um, and uh, now into um, the smell. So this opens up with, um, I can get, I get the um, tonka bean um, straight up. Uh, so you get tonka bean, but you also get this kind of um, effervescent, aromatic and slightly citrusy um, opening. So it's, it's, the, the tonka is quite sweet here, but then it's kind of offset by this um, sparkly aromatic um, um, notes that it has in the opening. So this has like rosemary, bergamot. Um, it also has this bitter uh, almond note, which gives uh, kind of this slightly bitterness, but also um, a creaminess to the fragrance. So you get this... Um, slightly sweet, creamy and also sparkly uh, opening. As it starts to dry down, um, uh, the tonka bean kind of uh, comes more, even more forward and you get the kind of the powdery uh, nuance that tonka bean can have. So it, this is slightly powdery but not too powdery. What I like about this fragrance is so well blended that you never get too much of one thing. Yes, it's um, tonka uh, being uh, forward but um, it's so well blended that it's you don't get that much powderiness that you can get from um, tonka bean because I think with the it's so well blended with the other notes that it kind of um, offsets that powderiness a bit so uh, for in the mid you get as I said is the tonka bean together with tobacco and jasmine it gives this um, kind of a leathery nuance, um, in my opinion. So the, the tobacco, I think, gives a bit of darkness to this fragrance and this leathery nuance, to, you know, together with the jasmine and, and the tonka bean, it's just slightly leathery nuance that I really enjoy. And then in the base, you get the woods, the cedar wood, you also get pine. Um, so 
it's really interesting but it's so well blended that you you can't really um, tell all the notes that are in here so this has bitter almond uh, rosemary bergamot tonka bean tobacco jasmine incense cedar and pine so to me this is kind of a a, a semi sweet slightly powdery um slightly aromatic fragrance that is totally unisex um for uh, longevity i would say this uh, will last you probably a good eight hours i mean i've been testing it like yesterday and day before i think i only just got this quite recently so i haven't tested uh, that much fully but the projection on this i would say it's moderate to low it doesn't it doesn't project a lot but i think uh most of the fragrances in this line uh from guerlain they not really uh, meant to project that much i mean the only one that i think is quite strong here is tobacco honey that one is very strong but all the others that i've tried they're normally more subdued they're more like um, um uh, something uh, fragrances that you wear for yourself not to for other people to smell it's more like i mean you can smell it and you, it's in your scent bubble but they're not really um they don't project that much so maybe it will change with mas maceration but uh at the moment this is kind of a moderate to low uh projection so um yeah as i said it's totally unisex so uh, and um it's it's just a wonderful fragrance i really really like it even though it doesn't project that much but the smell is incredible so if this sounds good to you uh i mean as i said this is the time to get it while it's still available in some of the uh, guerlain boutiques and also online i think they uh, come in 100 mils which is this one and also a bigger one uh, which is 200 mils um so yeah um I hope you guys have enjoyed uh, this review uh, and if you have please uh, give this video a thumbs up and also if you could please consider to subscribe to my channel I very much appreciate that and uh, thank you so much for watching and I hope to see you in my next one bye bye